Lincoln will soon join many other cities across the country after the city council approved a resolution to paint a Black Lives Matter mural downtown. But other communities, some in the state, are struggling with conflict over racial injustices with the art. Local 22's Courtney Adelman has more. Well, on Sunday here on the road in between South Winooski Ave and Church Street, a Black Lives Matter mural will be painted. And City Councilor Karen Paul says anyone is welcome to help paint. Murals are and have been for hundreds of years um, tools of persuasion. Um, they've been tools to develop meaningful places um, and in public places. Burlington's Ward 6 City Councilor Karen Paul says after a mural was painted in Montpelier, she knew she wanted to do one in Burlington. I thought, gosh, you know, that's a wonderful idea to be doing that right in front of the State House. We could be doing that in Burlington right in front of City Hall. And while Burlington's mural passed unanimously by the City Council, other communities have struggled with controversial artwork. One of the fears was uh, this was going to get out of hand and become violent at some point. A public art project by the Swanton Arts Council put up wooden walls that anyone could paint on as long as no words were painted. Swanton Village manager tells me the Board of Trustees decided to take down some of the walls after they created more tension than creativity. Uh, there was a, con uh, a confrontation, so to speak, and there's two sides to that story that the last uh, painting. Uh, People were basically spraying over an individual and, you know, and almost got them in the face. So uh, there was kind of like, okay, something has to be done. Swanton Police Chief Leonard Stell says it all started when someone painted a black fist to symbolize the Black Lives Matter movement. Stell says other community members found that offensive and painted over it. One of our art walls got painted over, I think, um, if my memory serves me correctly, five times in one day. And the Swanton Village manager, as well as the police chief, say they hope to have more public conversations and public forums to set guidelines for the art walls and get them back up and running. Reporting in Burlington, Courtney Adelman, Local 22 News.